Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium with a special guest tonight. This is a beautiful Chinese praying mantis that I actually found while I was working out tonight. She was just hanging around on my companion's shoulder who is a bug lover as well. And I thought she was totally adorable. She appears to be gravid and I thought, you know, I don't know that I've ever done a praying mantis video. Now for those of you who do not know, I do live in North America in the American Southwest. However, the wild populations of praying mantis that are here in the US are primarily indigenous to China and were introduced about 80 years ago and now we have a lot of wild populations of these Chinese praying mantis whose scientific name sadly I can't think of off the top of my head. This is a very interesting animal. You can see they have very large unusual looking almost humanoid faces or heads which make them endearing to most people and ironically they are called praying mantis because they tend to put their front legs in a prayer pose when they are hunting which I think they should be called a praying mantis because they're predators so P-R-E-Y, but they're actually called P-R. A praying mantis as in like praying to the Lord. And interestingly, this animal has two large eyes, but one ear actually near the hind legs underneath the belly. Yeah, she's not really wanting to be on camera too much tonight. And a neat thing about this species is that they only live for one season. The females actually lay kind of like a foam. Their egg sac is kind of encased in a foam that gets hard throughout the winter. And in the springtime, a bunch of itty bitty praying mantises emerge, which is so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep her safe and watered and fed in captivity until she lays her uthaka, which is what the egg sac of a praying mantis is. I think she's getting ready to jump. And then we will actually transplant it outdoors so it can incubate throughout the winter in the cool temperatures. And then in the springtime, we'll have a bunch of adorable baby praying mantis on our property. So I just thought you guys might like to see this lovely lady hope you enjoyed her oh and dun, 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 you might notice my little announcement board here I wanted to give a very special shout out to a very handsome young man from Singapore by the name of Enzo um, he had actually messaged me on Facebook about sending me a tarantula and usually my first question is like where are you at blah 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 um, when people ask to send me something or ask me to send them something and I thought I had and I hadn't he was planning on sending me an animal and we were all excited about it and then he messaged me back and told me oh you know I can't send you something overseas and I told him that I didn't realize that he was overseas which he's obviously I discovered from Singapore and um, so that was really really sweet he apologized and I told him absolutely uh, follow the law if you don't have an export permit unfortunately can't send me anything except for your love which I receive and I love you back and so I wanted to give a very special shout out to Enzo thank you so much you're awesome and I hope you get to see this video let me know what your favorite species of praying mantis is and how many babies you think will come out of her Uthika. hope you guys like this one and I'll see you very soon bye